Well, oh, boy. I reckon it's all over but the funeral march. Don't talk that way, Fuzzy. Go away. On my grave, write this epitaph. You might have been a buzzard. You might have been a saint. His best pals were Billy and Jeff. He died with no complaint. Beautiful, Fuzz. Beautiful. That's funny. I don't feel a mite of pain now. Sure felt something bust inside of me. All right, get going. Tell me you had a twin brother. I haven't. Let me take a look. Well, Billy the Kid. So we meet at last. Surprised at the resemblance? Ah, I sure am, Lieutenant. You seem to have known about it right along. For some time. As a matter of fact, I've been very anxious to meet my double before he and his friends go to prison. Well, it's not everybody can be in prison and the army at the same time. That's true. You know, it's really too bad, Billy, that we're, well, not on the same side of the fence. Well, in a way we are, Lieutenant. Then you wouldn't understand that. Oh, but I do. However, lawlessness, even when fighting for the underdog, is still lawlessness. Put these men away until the marshal arrives tomorrow morning. I hope you. Wait here while I take this invitation to the lieutenant. All right. you from Aunt Mary. Oh, good. Thank you. Dear Ted, you make me very happy by attending my wedding to George Fremont on August the 2nd. Wow. Mr. Fremont the East in a day or two. I'm sending you this letter by one of the ranch boys that, that you'll be sure to get a loving aunt very time. Well, tell my aunt that I'll be out to the wedding with bells on. I'll catch the stagecoach in the morning. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Make a move, Lieutenant. Sorry, me and my buddies can't stay around here longer. 
Since I figure I'm on the wrong side of the fence, I'd better get back to where I belong. Now, if you don't mind, I'll take your uniform. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll send it back to you. Yeah, cleaned and pressed. You know, they're in jail in the country, sir, as food as good as the army. Come on. If you get hungry, you can have the rest. Get away with this, Billy. Maybe not. I hope I'm not inconveniencing you, Lieutenant. How's that? It's not bad. Adios. Sort of gotten lost around Harper. here. How'd these two break loose? Why, they just never mind. Them. I'll take care of them. Go and find Billy the kid. Yes, sir. I hope Billy got away. Yeah. He will if we hurry. Billy! As I live and breathe. That's what we want to keep doing. Come on. Morrison's last stand. Sentry, I'm leaving the post for about an hour. I'm taking these two men with me. The Major should happen to ask for me, Colonel. to get my hands on them stinking coyotes. No, no, we haven't got time for that. Hey, we better get where we can fix that shoulder up. Yeah, let's get out of here. How's that feel? That's not bad, Jeff. <laughs> Lucky it wasn't a little lower. Yeah. You know, the thing I don't understand is why those hombres wanted to get rid of Lieutenant Morrison. I've been wondering the same thing. Sure, they weren't after me. Seems like they were just sort of waiting for him to come out. Say, Billy, maybe we ought to warn the lieutenant. Yeah, maybe we ought to keep our noses out of somebody else's business. First thing you know, we'll be accused of murder. I think you're right, Fuzzy. We uh, could send Fuzzy back to warn the lieutenant. No, you don't. <laughs> I'll slave over a hot stove cooking. I'll even take in washing. But I'll be dug nabbed if I'll stick my neck out to get hung. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got there, Fudge? The letter I found in the lieutenant's pocket. Don't you know better than to read other people's mail? I know better than to wash other people's clothes, but what good does it do me? <clears throat> Say, do you know who uh, the lieutenant's aunt was? No. Nope. You don't pay to be ignorant. <clears throat> all right, all right, come on. Who is the lieutenant's aunt? Mary Todd. Mary Todd? Why, she's the richest woman in the West. Old Daniel Todd left her a fortune. I understand she's blind, too. Listen, wait a minute. How do you know that Mary Todd is Lieutenant Morrison's aunt? It says so right here in the letter. Here, let me see. 
Dear Ted, you make me very happy by attending my wedding to George Fremont on August the 2nd. Mr. Fremont is arriving from the east in a day or two. Sending you this letter by one of the ranch boys so you'll be sure to get it on time. Your loving aunt, Mary Todd. A marriage and attempted murder and blind Mary Todd, the richest woman in the West. You know, somehow I have an idea that it all ties up together. Naturally, Turtle. When Mr. Fremont and I are married, you will take orders from him. Yes, Miss Mary. I haven't heard from him since we were children. That's a long time, Turtle. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Fremont now. Yes, sir. I reckon. And he's probably got the just little piece with him. Take care of their horses, Turtle. Yes, ma'am. Turtle, you're just the man I wanted to see. Say, Mill, do you think that the old gal will get wise? I don't go soft on me at this time. But what about the real George Fremont? You promised to take care of him the same as you did Lieutenant Morris. That's just what I was getting ready to tell Turtle. Turtle, you take two men, meet the stagecoach at Redwood Pass. And remember, I want George Fremont dead, with no letters or papers left to identify him as the real Fremont. You get it? Yes, boss. Meet me in town later. All right. You're so nervous, you remind me of a real groom. But don't get too nervous, Mr. Fremont. Remember, no one knows what the real George Fremont looks like, not even Mary. Besides, she's blind. Sure, sure, Mel. Now listen, pretty soon you'll be married. Then we'll have everything our own way. The Todd Ranch, the Todd Fortune, the Pioneer Stagecoach Line, the P&M Railroad will all be ours. Now brace up, come on. Sure, sure, Mel. Hello, Miss Mary. Good morning, Mr. Mark. George. Mary. After all these years, the same lovely Mary Todd. Well, I'm aside, uh, you and Mr. Fremont probably have a lot to talk over after 40 years. 40 years? That's a long time, isn't it, George? Uh, oh, yes, yes. It sure is a long time. Well, I'll see you again. Drop by my office later. All right. Let's sit down, George. We have a lot to talk about. Just as you say, Mary. That letter from Mary Todd's got me thinking. Yeah, you're gonna think yourself right into trouble. Spelled P-R-I-S-O-N. A little uneven. Come on, Jeff. You folks can go ahead and go to jail, not me. 